guys, hey what up, it's Brad with Home Love Construction and I'm standing here in a condo that we are in the final stages of remodeling in downtown Tampa. You might have seen this before in kind of in progress. We're at the final punch out stage so I wanna show you how it turned out. So the first thing right walking in the door is actually that we added a uh, basically a massive fireplace that goes from the floor all the way up to the 10 foot ceilings and has a natural stone, north stone finish on it. So we actually built this out of uh, fabricated metal, the same stuff that you'd build outdoor kitchens out of, and then had it stone and then drywalled on the inside. And then down here at the bottom, there's actually slabs of quartz that are mitered together to give a, a thicker edge. And then there's a little, uh, not a real fireplace, just so you know, but a uh, basically like a, a uh, natural ethanol burning fireplace that burns clean. You can do it in a closed space and it, it doesn't put off much heat or anything or really any gases, so it, it burns clean. So uh, the homeowners provided that and then we put the whole thing together. Uh, also in this living room, what we did is it used to be focused on that wall and we actually swapped it so that the uh, the whole room kind of focuses all on this fireplace as the whole thing, which makes sense because if you're in the kitchen doing stuff and there's people over here and, and kind of an entertaining thing, it makes sense that everybody's all directed in the same direction. One other thing that I wanna show over here in the front, so in the front over here, let me lock this door so I don't get hit with it. Uh, so there actually used to be a, uh, essentially like a coat closet over here. So we actually eliminated that entirely. And instead in its place, we're putting up is some pre-finished wood shelves. Now we ran into a snag in actually mounting the shelves. So we had to go and uh, make some, basically a French cleat arrangement so that we can actually hang these shelves on the wall because they didn't come with hanging hardware. So now we're gonna have these big, beautiful natural wood shelves at 28 and 60 inches that you're gonna walk in and it's gonna be open and you're gonna have nice open storage. And then they're gonna put basically a small piece of furniture down low to, to contain other stuff. So here in the guest bedroom, we, uh, we, we did a lot of rearranging in here. This door actually used to swing the other way. So we switched the door and moved it to the side and moved the electrical onto the other side of it to accommodate what we did with the closet. So this used to actually be literally just a, a normal closet right here. So what we did is we blew it out uh, and instead we did a huge built-in uh, for essentially what's a home office. Like this actually serves as an office. So what's standing right in front of me still covered up is actually a prefabricated desk that matches the rest of the cabinets and a smaller rolled out desk underneath that to take it and move it around and do stuff. So this essentially became a work area for the clients and they've got a bunch of like, you know, big cabinets for storage here. And so the last thing that we're waiting on for this is the poles just got in. So now we're putting these big, beautiful chrome poles on there. So that's the last thing to be done here. Pretty nice. These are uh, actually, I really like the, uh, what the clients use for knobs. They use top knobs, which uh, basically provides really high end cabinet hardware. Uh, and I was really impressed when we did, uh, you know, you'll get to see some more in the bathrooms of what we did, but we put on a lot of those and they were really good. The other thing that I want to point out is the doors. Um, these doors are definitely not your standard, these, these aren't your, sta your standard six panel doors. Uh, they were actually made and pre-finished with a laminate on the outside of it that wraps around the edges. So there's no seams in the laminate. So they're actually protected from water and they have that nice like pre-finished satin look on the doors. And then they added these little chrome strips to just kind of make it look kind of like a modern version of a five panel door, like a really popular shaker five panel, but they did a, a modern version on it. And then these chrome levers, obviously from m -Tech are super nice as well. So let's go check out the bathrooms. All right, so here in the guest bathroom, this was basically a full gut. Uh, this actually used to have, uh, you know, a, a tub in the place of where the shower is now. So we pulled the tub and actually turned it into a shower. So we've got our, our big tile on the walls. They had us carry the tile out of the shower surround all the way to the edge of that vanity, if you can show them that Apollo. But then we did the uh, quartzite countertops with the vessel sinks. I love these cabinets. These are like freaking sick. Uh, these have basically the extra hardware inside of them that allow you to have a big drawer on the top and then a small drawer and deep storage underneath. And you can see we've got some extra valves and material and stuff in there. And uh, 
you know, obviously the clothes, slow clothes stuff. And this is the other place where we use these nice knobs from Top Knobs. And then obviously the quartz side on the top, the waterfall edge, love that look. I mean, it's freaking amazing. And then the shower itself, I mean, the uh, we showed this actually at the stage of when it was getting tiled and we showed Albert who was kind of doing a lot of the work here. And he just did an amazing job with making sure all the tile like lined up was perfectly square. Like we literally, we've put a level on this, it's dead level. Uh, the niche is really well done. I'm sure Apollo will show you that. And then the finishing touch is really are the grow heat fixtures. I mean, these things are, are freaking awesome. You can actually set the exact temperature that you want and the valve self-regulates to create that temperature that you're looking for. So, and then we've got like the nice big rain head that comes off the wall up here. And then they added an extra body spray over here. We just need to remount the, the hanging hardware because they wanted to do a different one. So this, this bathroom came out incredible, super happy with it. Let's go see the master where there is actually a tad of electrical still going on, but we can show you kind of what the finished product looked at, like in there as well. All right, so here in the master suite area, it's, it's cool because it's closed off by a door. I actually really like the layout of this condo. We added a, basically removed the door to the bathroom and added a barn door in its place. Uh, and that is actually a slow open and closed barn door, which is pretty freaking sweet. And so what we did is in the master bathroom, we did a lot of rearranging. So let's go in here and I'll show you what happened in here. We're still actually adding the uh, in drawer outlet literally right now. It's gonna serve to be able to plug stuff in inside of the vanity. But other than that, what we did in here is obviously took all the, all the wall finish off and uh, did tile around on the whole walls. The only place that you won't see tiles where the mirror is gonna go. But what they did is they used, I love this, they actually used the, the shape and texture of the tile to create an accent wall in the back of this bathroom. So this is, you know, I'm sure you can see it on the video, but it's actually a wavy face tile. And in the rest, it's a smooth tile. And so <clears throat> what they actually did is they didn't use a different tile like a lot of people do. And I tell people this all the time, you can use texture as an accent. So the way it came out in here, it's a perfect example of how you can actually do that and have it come, up, come out looking amazing because the whole room is uniform. All the grout joints line up perfectly. It's all because it's all the same size tile, but the, the difference in the actual texture creates the, the effect of a totally different wall. Now, the other things that we did is, you know, we changed the footprint of the shower slightly and made it, came, brought it over uh, a hair, made it a little smaller to make room for this beast, uh, this huge pedestal tub, which is actually on a, a quartzite deck. So there's countertop material completely uh, on a frame and then cement board and then the quartzite. And obviously you have your, you know, your tub filler over here with the body spray and whatnot, uh, which is really nice. And so in order to make room for that, we shrunk the shower a little bit, but they did the, the same, you know, grow heat body sprays and, and all that stuff. And this all, this just needs to get mounted and set in right there. Uh, moving on into the actual, we're in the master bedroom right now. The last thing that I want to address is the flooring in here. The flooring, when you first walk into this, is mind blowing. I mean, the herringbone wood floor with the uh, natural oak look is, uh, honestly, I'm surprised that you don't see it more. And I think you will see it a lot more because it's not only a timeless look, you know, it's not, it's not a harsh color palette. It's not like the orange oak flooring that you see in a lot of houses. It's, it's a nice neutral beige color. Uh, and that along with the, it actually works really well with the square one by six baseboard that we wound up doing. Uh, and the whole thing really works together well. And, and I just am loving how this came out. So the herringbone was, uh, it was definitely an installation challenge, you know, because <clears throat> you have to make sure that all the ridges line up where they're supposed to, and that you kind of like shoot them, like we shot them down the whole hallway. So there's like a continuous line of sight down the hallway with the ridges. And Apollo can show you all that. But basically keep in mind that <clears throat> it takes a certain level of craftsmanship, not only to do the herringbone, but also to do a lot of the other stuff that we did in this condo. So there's obviously a price tag that comes along with that. So, you know, these, these people found uh, value in it uh, and they have amazing taste and it was really fun to actually be able to do this and put it all together. And, you know, obviously stressful along the way, these things aren't stress-free, 
But uh, the end result is so worth it because now that it's all put together, it's like, holy crap, I can't believe we actually got this done and it looks like this, it looks amazing. So you know, that's the importance of using people who are really craftsmen and know what they do. So if you have a project at your home, like a renovation of a, of a condo or room addition or kitchen that you're looking for people to actually come and take control of and make sure that it comes out looking like this, right? Minus the little things that we have left, there's paint touch-ups, light fixtures to go on, stuff like that. But if you want it to look like this when it's done, you know, send us an email to homeloveconstruction at gmail.com and we can actually do a free same day estimate with you. One of our estimators will actually reach out, come and tell you how much it would cost to do this. Boom, same day. There's no waiting for like, oh, I'll get back to you. And you don't hear back for two weeks. We totally eliminate that. So send us an email to homeloveconstruction at gmail.com. I look forward to seeing your condo make it look like this. Thanks for watching. Peace.